Hello, BookTube. I'm going to sign off from YouTube uh, for the rest of the year. And before I do that, I wanted to thank you and also give you all a glimpse of my little princess. Here she is with her, her epic side eye. Uh, uh, there she is, going on seven years old. Uh, a lot of you saw her when she first appeared on this channel when she was eight weeks old. A tiny little mouse, didn't know anything. Now she's going on seven years old. There are jumps off furniture that she thinks twice about now. She's not sure how it's going to feel. Uh, her reign in the neighborhood is still undisputed. It is still ironclad. <laughs> every dog in the neighborhood is afraid of her, and every human in the neighborhood knows to fuss over her or they'll get screamed at. <laughs> so, But uh, she's no longer eight weeks old. She's no longer a puppy in any way. That, that is gone. Well, I want to show you that, and I also wanted to thank you uh, before I disappear, as I always do, uh, for all that you've done to make this experience of mine, this weird experience of a book critic trying a YouTube channel, so enjoyable in the year 2023. I want to thank uh, the people who've left comments in all of those months. Wonderful, thought-provoking comments, most of them. Uh, fun, needling, uh, joshing. That has been wonderful. It's been wonderful to have those conversations. I want to thank all of you who took me up on my steady invitation to email me. Email me or Voxer me. I'm right here. I have a lot of work to do, but I'm always free for conversations. And I genuinely want them. Unlike, uh, you know, some of the bigger, glitzier, sponsored or triple sponsored YouTube channels that say, you guys, you guys, you guys, but don't want any contact with vermin. At all, they don't want anything to do with their with their followers or their people who leave comments or anything like that. They view them as subhuman. They are just pay piggies. Uh, they might say those words, but I actually mean them. And a number of you have taken me up on that, which is wonderful. I, my email has was full in all of 2023 with requests for advice on all kinds of subjects, not just books. On me asking for advice on all kinds of subjects, uh, not just books. On all kinds of jokes, innumerable dog pictures, pictures of libraries, pictures of bookstores where you're where you're out and about. That has been wonderful. Just an absolutely unexpected, completely positive side effect of making videos on YouTube. <laughs> uh, I also want to thank uh, my fellow booktubers quite a few of whom uh, show the same qualities as the people that I'm talking about in that they get my sense of humor uh, and make really interesting, thought-provoking content. I, it's you, Booktube in 2023 was the number one thing that I watched. When I was watching anything, it was almost always going to be Booktube, and that was it was never failed to irritate me or please me or amuse me, make me laugh, all that sort of stuff. Just... Just wonderful. Downsides, of course, negatives, negative examples, of course, but what's the point of bringing them up now? The majority of, of those videos were wonderful. People just putting on a camera, not expecting anything other than I find this interesting and I've got a community to share it with. That was wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. And if I thank commenters and booktubers, well, and I want to thank even more uh, the people who showed up in the highlight of 2023 for me, which was my live streams. In 2023, I really did a lot of live streams and realized that some of the numbers that are involved here that really would deflate the egos of some very large non-booktube YouTube channels. I learned from my videos that regardless of subscriber count, I have about a thousand viewers. And I learned from my live streams that regardless of viewers, I have about a hundred or two hundred people who are directly engaged with me as a person on this channel. Uh, so not bots. <laughs> at least I'm sure in some cases I have my doubts, but mostly not bots. And those live streams are where that happened. I know some of it had to do with timing, time zones and whatnot. I tend to do my live streams in what for a lot of you is the middle of the night. So, you know, I'm not counting that those as absences, but nevertheless, in those live streams, I got the closest that I will ever come with 99.9% .9 of you to in-person conversation, which is the refiner's fire for all the claims I make about establishing internet relationships uh, virtually in comments fields or in emails or whatnot. The refiner's fire for that is, well, what would it be like if you were in conversation with the person, actual conversation with the person? That's not going to happen in real life for most of us, but live streams come pretty close. Live streams burn away the ambiguity of email. They burn away the 
passive aggressive double entendres and whatnot are there. It's just you and you're responding to each other in real time. And for me in 2023, that was a revelation. It was absolutely wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Uh, and then from the live streams, I, there's just one more group that I want to thank, of course, and that is the people who, the, if if live streams are a small fraction of viewers and viewers are a small fraction of subscribers, then a small fraction of those real people in those live streams actually came here to Hyde Cottage to visit me, either here to Hyde Cottage or to the Brattle Bookshop, which is basically my home away from home. <laughs> in 2023, I met quite a few people. IRL in real life who I would not have met otherwise I wouldn't have known if I didn't make a YouTube channel I wouldn't know that they existed they are in fact my imaginary booktube friends but I met them in real life and some of them came over here and spent time here and had wine and calzones here and stretched out on the David Murphy memorial cot and had free to scream at them and whatnot and that was delightful that was that was delightful that was to put it mildly seven years ago or whatnot, I would not have imagined that that could happen. Uh, probably seven years ago, I would have thought, well, it shouldn't happen because that was the dictum of the internet at the time was that don't read the comments fields, don't feed the trolls, and especially don't let anybody into your home. Uh, probably seven years ago, that was the mind frame that I was thinking of just because I'd been told it. But in 2023, I had many visitors and I had it. It was wonderful. It was absolutely wonderful. So so there you go. I wanted to thank all of you for making this such a weird, unexpected, and largely wonderful experience. Uh, so I'm going to wrap this up uh, for now, and I hope you all have a happy new year, and lots and lots of good reading and good booktube viewing in 2024. So thank you all again. <sighs> Goodbye, booktube.